It's the Fat Bee Man, and I'm over at Steven's house, and we're doing some grafting today. I'm going to show you one area under his, his deck, if I get this to zoom in. All right, he's got some of his starters over there. These are all minis. And then uh, here's the trailer for feeding. And I'm going to go down here. And you can see a midway of the row. He's running about 200 mini nukes. And as you can see, pan around here to where you can see. They're anywhere from five to six inches apart. Go back over here. See the backyard, it's got a bunch of, got mini nukes everywhere. Now the ones with the lids, that's upside down, getting ready to put uh, some cells in. The ones with the bricks laying queens. So he's got a whole bunch of queens. We just got the starter box over here by the smoker. And that's a, a timing box where we time out the bees to where we know they're exactly the right edge. You can see how long these rows are. We're at a quarter of an acre. So you can see running several hundred boxes here. See? And I'm over here with two students from Dublin, Georgia, and when they come out, I'll shoot the part two of this. And you see, they have the deck in the back. They got a hot tub there. Bees don't bother them. You see, the bees are very active right now, smoking everywhere. Now there's a couple eight frame hives. Those are for stocking the mini nukes. That's the timing box. There's a queen excluder in there to keep the queen separated. We've got another eight frame box over there. You need about at least three to five eight frame boxes for a mating yard just to keep stocking boxes. I'm going to show you here is this is one of the inside feeders. It's a little mini nuke feeder. And these are the hive top feeders, which is a smaller version. You can see it, they take a little more time than the inside feeder. Okay.